What's going on? It's your boy Chef LW going on right here with a collaboration of Barbecue Smoker Pros, my man rolling behind the camera. Hey, we're gonna get this 14 pound turkey ready for frying tomorrow. We're gonna use some of my special dry rub that I use and the tried and true Tony Satry turkey injection. This is the butter flavor. So what we're gonna do first, we're just gonna pat it down and rub it down interior and exterior with some of this famous dry rub. So without giving your secrets out too much, what is, what's like some of your stuff in the rub that, that you look for? Uh, I'll tell you what it is. It's a secret. That's a secret. <laughs> okay, that's fair. So I don't tell anyone the ingredients of that rub. That's how I'll keep it coming back. But what I do, I just rub this down on it pretty liberally. You know, you got, you got white meat. It, 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 people say don't rub it that, that much with rubs, but nah. What's going to do is it's going to hold up when you put it in the fryer. And it's going to give you that extra crisp that you're looking for. Along with that Tony Satchery internal injection, that keeps the moisture of the turkey and it gives you some flavor also. And you recommend what, a day or two before? What's your, what's your feeling? I usually let it marinate for about two days. Two days. Top. Yeah, I usually do like, I do two turkeys for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I do a jerk and I do a regular one like this. And um, I season them like this and let them sit for two days. Um, a lot of people don't like to put the seasoning in the inside, but hey, the inside of that turkey tastes good too, you know, so you gotta... Especially deep frying it. Yeah, I mean, to, that's what I love about deep frying is the whole yeah. inside gets done and it's... The skin is just incredible with deep frying. Hey, I'm also using a uh, indoor turkey fryer. It's made my master built mm -hmm. and I've had it for about a good four years. And man, let me tell you, that thing, man, I do fish with it. I do ribs with it. I do Cornish hens, you name it. Anything that you want to deep fry, you put in that bad boy, and man, it's gonna give you the texture that you need, and it's gonna, you can fry a lot of food in it. Mm -hmm. um, this one, you can fry up to a 21 pound turkey in it, and um, I usually fry it um, four, uh, four minutes per pound. So this is a 14 pound turkey, so it's gonna fry about, probably about 59 minutes. So I do it about an hour and five minutes. And that's going to give me my nice crisp on the outside. And it's going to be nice and juicy and tender on the inside. What type of temperature do you set your deep fryer at? Dude? So I do it at 375. So you're on the hot side. Yeah. Um, it fries real good. It gives me a nice crisp, but it keeps it moist. Um, when you fry it slow, sometimes you get like a, you get maybe that like that soft taste to it. You know, the skin don't crisp up, crisp up as much. Um, but when I fry it at... Um, 375 I get a nice crisp to it the interior reaches about I try to get my interior about 165 170 mm -hmm. and um, that keeps the turkey real moist and juicy and this this injection man that butter garlic injection it really gives it a nice flavor so teach teach us here so for a beginner and which I am what's, what's a beginner injector person what are you doing like what are you looking for to, to stick the needle in so you want to go in the thigh in the leg you want to go in the long part so you can get juices so this is the back of the thigh mm -hmm. this is the front of the thigh i'm sticking it to the front you can see how the how it's, how it's swelling up. up yeah and i'm not now when i see it comes out i know that it's all this here season too i do the leg also the same way i go from the front side of the leg to the back side of the leg i do the wing the breast and everything the same way this way I'm getting an equal amount of injection in everything. You can see how that leg is plopping up. So you do to the point that it starts squirting out through the hole, yep. is your feeling. So when I go to the breast, mm -hmm. I go to the back of the breast also. See how it plumps up? Mm -hmm. And I go to the back of the wing. One of these can usually be enough, but um, if you want it to get more tastier, I would, um, you can use two because it's not going to overdo it. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a salty tasting injection. Mm -hmm. It's a real good flavor. Um, it has garlic and butter, butter and a couple other ingredients in it. Mm. And that's just going to add to your, um, I'll put it in the butt too. Because, um, yeah, I eat the butt of the turkey. Okay, so that's the tail section. So you like deep frying that also. Yeah. People cut that off. Nah. You like, no. Anything with fat is going to give flavor. Mm -hmm. So when you're cutting the fat off, mm -hmm. you're just cutting flavor off. So. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to eat it, just cook it with it. And then when it's done cooking, just cut it off. But I eat it. So mm -hmm. as you can see, I'm still doing the thighs the same way. I do them the long, the long way. So I'm getting all those ingredients all down in. Go to the top of that backbone. And then do the leg. Just stand it up. Go to the back of the leg. And push it all the way down. 
That way you're getting those juices all in that leg. It's all being incorporated. And don't be afraid, you know, you're not gonna overdo it. Mm -hmm. You know, because when it's sitting, mm -hmm. just like with any, anything else, some of that injection is gonna come out. So that's why I'm putting a lot in it. Mm -hmm. As you see, the, it's already coming out and I haven't even did the side yet. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna do the breast. And don't be afraid when you're frying your turkey to think that the breast is going to dry out. It's not going to dry out because the turkey is being cooked evenly mm -hmm. and it's not going to dry out. As you notice, I went on one end of the breast and then the other side of the breast. Yep. This way I'm getting enough injection in everything. And just use the whole jar. Yeah. You're going to have some left over, but um, just use the whole jar. Yeah. Might you know, as well just use the whole thing. Go you're going to use the whole thing because you can never have enough flavor. And going to the other side of the breast, the back side of the breast, and I got one more wing to do, and we're done. It's Perfect. as simple as that. It's, it's not a hard thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, just have some fun with it, you know? You're cooking. Cooking is meant to be fun. When yeah, I, really, injection. I mean, the way they... You get the needle and everything right with it, the... Uh, everything with, comes with everything it. Everything comes with it. The only thing you need is your talent. And really, the talent is no more than sticking it in. And you, as you can see, I just seasoned and injected this entire turkey in less than five minutes. Yep. And it doesn't take long. It's not hard to do. You just see how it plumps up. There we go. And what I normally do, I just normally pour it a little over the top like that, mm -hmm. inside the inside. Mm -hmm. And then I add a little bit more of the dry rub. That way it sticks to it. So you use this as a binder for your rub also? Yeah. Because you're going to cover this with aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. And that aluminum foil is going to take some of it off. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about this, I will give you one part of my secret of my rub. Mm -hmm. The good thing about this dry rub, it has meat tenderizer in it. Hmm. So mm -hmm. what's going to happen is mm -hmm. that meat tenderizer is, is going to break down a lot of the, the cellulite and the membrane of this turkey. Mm -hmm. And it's going to just incorporate itself inside of the, the deepest part of the meats in it. And there you have it. Okay, so from now, now we're just going to wrap that with aluminum foil, yep. keep that in the refrigerator yep. till Christmas Day. Yep. And so with the magic of video, we will come back in a couple seconds, but really it'll be two days. So one thing what you're going to do is Go you're going to take this turkey out about five to six hours before you deep fry it. Okay. Because you want it to get somewhat near room temperature. Because mm -hmm. even though it's going to be dry mm -hmm. when it's cold and you put it in the oil, mm -hmm. it will give you flashback. Um, I use... Um, um, soybean oil when I use mine because mm -hmm. so many people are allergic to peanut mm. peanuts so mm. the soybean oil not too many people are allergic to it and it, it gives a good flavor people think the peanut oil is what give you the flavor the peanut oil doesn't give you the flavor it gives you the flash point of 465 degrees on the flash point mm. what gives you the flavor is your injection and your rubs and your dry rub do you feel that the oil takes the rub off the meat or it locks the no, rub in the meat it locks it on Mm. Because you're getting that flash. Mm. So if you put it on a lower temperature oil, then yeah, your crust of the of the dry rub is gonna gonna go away. But you're letting your, your my oil get up to um, 375 degrees. Mm -hmm. So when it goes in there, it gives it a nice flash, and it keeps it on there, and it gives it a golden brown crust when it's finished. We can't wait to see that. Well, thank you very much, Seth. And then we will. Come back in two days, but it'll look like two seconds on the video. It's your boy, Chef L. Dub, and rolling the barbecue smoker pro saying fry them if you got them. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hey, Merry Christmas. It's your boy, Chef L. Dub, coming at you. And my man, Roland from Barbecue Smoker Pros. We're going to get this turkey fried today. So today, we're going to be using pure soybean oil. And you get that from Sam's Club, yeah, Costco? Yeah, this from Sam's Club. It costs about 39 bucks. So we're going to put the oil in. At about we have a measured line so we have a 14 pound turkey so that's the measured line for the so you can see the line right in here i can see so you fill it up to there yes we do great so what we're going to have is we have the basket for the turkey we're going to put the turkey in the basket neck toward the neck of the basket the basket really shows you what it's supposed to be the back of the turkey goes back being the wider part of the, part of the turkey so what you're going to do is you're just going to submerge the turkey inside of the fryer nice and slow because once the hot grease hit it it's going to start to sizzle up once you get the turkey to the bottom you just take your hook off and close your lid and let it fry so once we get this grease up to 375 degrees we're going to come back and we're going to put the turkey in it and we're going to let you see us 
get this thing going on. It's your boy Chef L Dub saying, see you in a minute. Hey, Merry Christmas again. It's your boy Chef L Dub and my man Roland from Barbecue Smokers, Smoker Pros. We're about to get this turkey going on for you guys. So this turkey has been marinating for two days. We injected it with some Tony Satchery injection and we did my dry rub on it. So we're gonna get ready to put this bad boy in the soybean oil and get this Christmas bird working. So we're just gonna simply pick him up. We're gonna put him in the turkey pan. Like you can see, the turkey is concave to the neck and to the back. You wanna make sure that- The head's up in the front. all the way to the front and your legs are down. Legs are down. Okay. What's the wings? Do you put both wings, or the wings sticking up there? Yeah, they're gonna settle down once we get them in the oil. Okay. But um, you don't you don't really mind the wings sticking up because they're gonna cook and you don't want them to cook too fast. Okay. So we're simply just gonna pick this bad boy up. Okay. Bring him around to the oil. Okay, we're at 375. We're gonna put him in the oil nice and slow because you will get a flare up. So you can bring it bring it over to the room. Come over all the way over to me. Yep. And we're gonna sit him down in there. You gotta let the oil get inside the cavity of the bird. So he's getting oil all around him. Keep your arm up high because this oil is flaring and it will burn your arm. So nice and slow, you don't have to go fast with it. Take your time until the turkey gets all the way submerged. See how the oil is boiling up? That's that's the water vapor that's in the that's the moisture of water that's on the turkey, right? Yeah. Probably. So you again you just want to take your time, go nice and slow. Yeah. Your glass is gonna fog up like mine are, but we ain't gonna worry about that. So now, you got the oil is coming over. Yep. Now around the turkey fryer, you have like a little, a little like, little little hole like little cubbies there. Yeah, it, it keeps the oil from going on outside of the turkey and outside of the pan. So nice and slow. Take your time. Don't be in a rush to get your turkey in there. Because you're gonna cook it for about this turkey is gonna cook for about an hour and five minutes anyway. So nice and slow. Once the turkey, all the condensation comes out of the turkey, then your oil is gonna stop jumping all over the place. So now the turkey is always submerged. Just take your hook off and close your lid down. We're gonna set a timer for an hour and five minutes. And after an hour and five minutes, the turkey's gonna be done. So the, the um, rule of thumb is, you wanna cook your turkey four minutes per pound. Okay. So this turkey is a 13.3 pound. 14 pounds, So we're yep. gonna treat it as 14 pounds. Yep. And we're gonna cook it for 56 minutes. I add another five minutes to it just to crisp it up. Yep. So we're gonna do it for an hour and five minutes. It's your boy Chef L. Dub saying, fry them if you got them. See in a couple, well, you'll see an hour and 15, five minutes, but it'll be about two seconds. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Chef L. Dub coming back at you an hour and five minutes later with my man Roland from Barbecue Smoker Pros. We got this fried turkey ready, and it's going to look good. I already know because I've did this so many times, but for you first-timers, we're going to show you what it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah, man. That bad boy is ready. So, we, and, and you can't smell this. I wish we had smell, oh, smell YouTube vision, here. Man. Smell of vision, but it smells awesome. The oh, spices man. that he put on it. Go ahead. So, chef. listen, when you take it out, remember you still have oil in the cavity of the turkey. So, kind of tilt it a little. Shake it a little bit. Right? Yeah. No, you want to just tilt it and let that yeah. oil come out of the neck, like I'm doing now, and let it drain. And then have you a nice deep pan and put that bad boy in. That's what your fried turkey is supposed to look like when you get through with this bad boy. Now, with the electric, with the electric deep fryers, I unplug it. I do not leave it plugged up. Because sometimes you may leave it on, you'll burn the grease. Mm, by mistake, so, just take unplug the plug. Just to be safe, unplug it, yep. close it down. Yep. Now, this is the indoor fryer. So this thing here lifts up and let's say, it's a drain plug under here where you can drain it when the oil cools. Yep. So this is a master-built Butterball electric fryer. Best thing you can ever buy. Foolproof. Your turkey will come out perfect every time. Make sure you inject your turkey. I use Tony Saturated Butter Garlic Injection. 
it keeps the interior of the turkey nice and moist and it also keeps the turkey juicy and flavorful and I do a dry rub afterwards so it's your boy Chef L. Dove coming at you with my boy Roland from Barbecue Smoker Pro saying Bon Appetit what's going on it's your boy Chef L. Dove coming to you on this Christmas Day 2003 with my man Roland from Barbecue Smoker Pros we just finished frying this 14 pound turkey and we're gonna carve it up and give the people a taste test so they can Judge how this thing really tastes. Are you ready, Steve, to do the taste test? Hey, I'm here, I'm ready, and I'm willing. Are you a professional yeah. taste tester? I am. Do we have to twist your arm? No. Okay. No. All right. So here's the first carve of this chicken breast of this turkey. Oh, man, it's going through like, like a hot knife through butter. So we're going to let Steve... Ooh, look at how juicy that is. We're going to let Chris come over and get a little? What do you think, Chris? Ooh, okay. Look at the look, steam coming off that. We have another professional taste tester. Steve? Chris. Chris, Chris, sorry. Do we have to twist your arm, Chris? I don't think so. Do we? Ready, Chris? Amazing. Is it moist? Is oh it juicy? God. Is it dry? It's just falling off. Anyone else want to get That's a taste easy. test over here? Come on, Miss Ricky. Mm. Miss Ricky, get over here. Miss Ricky, get over here. It's so good. <laughs> That's easy. Come on inside the camera. So this was injected with a Tony Saturated Butter Garlic Seed um, Injection, and I um, did my dry rub with it. Mm -hmm. Wow. There you have it, folks. The wilds have it. Mm -hmm. Well, Chef, thank you very, very wow. much for your step-by-step -step program for this Christmas turkey here. We super appreciate you. If somebody would like to hire you for professional catering or one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, What's the best way to get in touch with you? They can reach me at 973-332-5631, or you can catch me on Instagram, the real L W. That's R. That's D A R E A L L D U B Y A on Instagram. And it's your boy Chef L Dub saying, "Smoke him if you got him." Bon Take appetit. care. Barbecue on. Take care, Chef.